Hi everyone, welcome on this episode of Global Accounts and Subaccounts on the Sub Business Technology Platform. When we look at the initial delivery of your uh, account, you always receive a global account inside of the Business Technology Platform. And ideally, you have only one global account per company. So this is per contract, you could say. The exception can be, of course, uh, SubCloud ALM, because that's always delivered in a separate global account. If you have multiple global accounts, and this was not the intention or just something historical, you can reach out to SEP to help you to get all of these sub-accounts uh, into one global account and to centralize everything again. So a global account is a top-level entity uh, meant for centralized management. Uh, for example, as shown in a previous uh, episode, you can see your costs uh, in there. You can also manage your sub-accounts in there. You manage resources in there and your landscape and also licenses and entitlements. If we then have a look at the uh, boosters, which are also available in the global account, this is a kind of prepackaged installation that you can do. So these are only available on the global account level. Uh, and these are needed for some installations. For example, the product sub document reporting and compliance. If you want to send uh, messages over the Pebble network, for example, then you need to install that via a booster. And that's only available on the global account level. If we then look at sub accounts, then a sub account exists within a global account and it acts as a subdivision for organizing resources, applications and services. So you can have one global account with many sub accounts inside of them. Uh, so the global account then has the overall entitlements where you can uh, also divide those entitlements on the individual sub accounts. So this would typically be something that an administrator does in order to give certain sub accounts less or more entitlements in terms of what they can uh, deploy there uh, in terms of SEP services. So sub accounts offer a logical separation for different purposes. Uh, we will go into more detail in the next episode on this. So it can be for development test production, for example. It can also be regional or it can be for specific projects.